What's going on everybody today? I am going to give you my thoughts on the base 21.5 inch iMac. Now this iMac was released to uh, as a lower priced option to a uh, standard uh, iMac which I believe is Twelve ninety nine. This one's ten ninety nine. So this one's slightly less. And with that, you do get some compromises, though. You still get eight gigs of RAM, but you don't get an Intel Iris graphics. You don't get a terabyte of storage. <clears throat> you get an HD graphics five thousand, and you get a slower processor at one point four gigahertz, and you get a five hundred gigabyte hard drive. So you do get less, but that might be a good thing for most individuals uh, that want a very uh, cost-effective way to get a Mac aside from the Mac Mini um, of course they want an all-in-one but they don't want to buy the Mac Mini and you know have to buy everything or you know connect everything and just want it all in the box so this is a very cost-effective way to get a Mac and um, basically what I just told you is what you get from the factory if you want any other options like more storage or you want to go to the fusion drive or the flash storage you have to pay for the uh, extras online before you buy the machine so you have to uh, go online and configure it to your liking and then uh, go ahead and place your order and order it but it's a very nice machine it's still got the nice design that the iMac has been known for um, it's definitely less powerful which for some people is okay especially those that just you know they do their email they'll surf the internet they'll do stuff like that they don't need you know a quad core processor you know iris graphics 16 gigs of ram a terabyte storage they don't need any of that they just want to buy a mac set it up and use it and that's what this model is primarily aimed at and one of the reasons why i wasn't or never thought about buying a mac in the first place is because i uh... wanted to wait for a low-cost machine to come out and sure enough apple brought that to us in the form of the twenty fourteen twenty one inch iMac the uh... budget kinda iMac uh... type of deal but it's still a good computer for most people it's something i would definitely pick up of course not without you know ordering the uh... two fifty six gigabyte a flash uh, storage uh, option but I certainly would pick one of these up and uh, hell have it for six seven years have it until it goes obsolete and buy something else or however long but um, definitely it's worth a look it's 1099 and uh, if you're wanting to switch to a Mac and you don't really want a Mac mini and you know you want everything all in one get this uh, get this iMac uh, definitely worth the money